From towering projects gone wrong in the heart of cities to ambitious multi-billion dollar plans that couldn't stand up to reality, today at Ultimate Mega Builds, we look at some of the most expensive construction failures in the world. But before we start, please be sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel so that we keep bringing you up-to-date videos on world mega projects. So, let's start. Number 8. Liang Star City, China Liang Star City in Kunming, China saw a dramatic transformation since its initial phase began in 2011. This expansive project originally set out to construct 19 high-rise buildings designed for both residential and commercial purposes across four principal construction zones. Despite a promising start, the development faced unexpected hurdles early on when, just a year into construction, the initial overseeing company was replaced. This major change led to the completion of only four of the buildings, while the remaining 15 reached their full structural heights but were subsequently abandoned in 2013 due to financial turmoil. These unfinished giants stood untouched for years, their basements slowly succumbing to rainwater and causing severe damage to structures. In December 2020, a new chapter began when another real estate company bought the entire property and its associated rights for a sum close to $150 million. This new owner quickly assessed the situation and concluded that the structures, now outdated by eight years, were no longer viable for the modern real estate market. In a decisive move to repurpose the land, the decision was made to demolish these unused high-rises. Over four tons of explosives were strategically employed to ensure a controlled and safe demolition. In August 2021, it took just 45 seconds to successfully conduct the single largest demolition event in China's history. Number 7. Millennium Tower, United States The Millennium Tower became one of the most striking additions to San Francisco's skyline in 2009. It stood 200 meters tall, representing a $350 million investment by Mission Street Development, LLC. By 2016, the high-end residents, who had invested up to $13 million in their homes, uncovered alarming evidence that the tower was not only sinking, but also tilting significantly. Investigations into this predicament revealed a critical oversight. The tower's foundation was anchored in deep sand, lacking the solid bedrock necessary to support its massive structure. Just seven years post-completion, the building had descended 40 centimeters and tilted by 15 centimeters at its peak. This discovery triggered a flurry of lawsuits involving residents, the city of San Francisco and the Homeowners Association, all seeking accountability from the developers. While the developers initially pointed fingers at the construction activities at the nearby Trans Bay Transit Center, it was later established that the tower's issues were inherent and not caused by external factors. The situation escalated in 2018 when residents reported unsettling noises and a loud pop that resulted in a shattered window on the 36th floor, hinting at deeper structural troubles. After a series of legal battles, a consolidated settlement was reached, endorsing a $100 million stabilization plan. This ambitious strategy involved drilling into the bedrock to install over 50 new piles to secure the foundation. Number 6. Okioto 3 Nuclear Power Plant, Finland The Finnish government in 2005 approved the construction of a third nuclear reactor at the Olkiluoto nuclear power plant in Jurajoki. This strategic step aims to boost Finland's nuclear electricity output by nearly 60%. However, despite the strategic intentions, the project soon became synonymous with challenges and setbacks. Teole Suden Voima Oij, or TVO, was the company overseeing the project. TVO faced a variety of issues ranging from construction delays to business disputes, pushing the reactor well past its initial timeline and budget. It was originally planned to complete the project by 2010, but the reactor's construction was still ongoing more than 10 years later. Experts analyzing the project have pointed to a critical gap in recent nuclear construction experience as a primary factor for the delays. The intervening years had seen a significant drain of skilled labor from the nuclear sector, and contractors found themselves grappling with the rigorous safety protocols required for such projects. Early on, 
The construction team encountered significant issues, including an incorrectly poured concrete foundation that needed redoing, deficiencies in metal components of the reactor, and welding standards that were not clearly communicated to workers. The complicated documentation and licensing processes dictated by stringent regulatory standards for nuclear facilities further extended the timeline. As the calendar turned to 2022, TVO set a new milestone, announcing that the Olkiluoto 3 reactor was on track to commence regular power generation in February. However, what was initially a $3 billion investment had spiraled into an estimated $11 billion. Number 5. Hallensas Tunnel, Sweden In 1975, Sweden's rail system was under strain due to escalating train traffic. The congestion was particularly along the west coast line between Gothenburg, Sweden, and Copenhagen, Denmark. Plans were drawn up for a major overhaul to get rid of this traffic, including converting the line to a double track system with the Hallensas Tunnel through the Hallensas Ridge. Construction kicked off in 1992, with a timeline set for completion within three years. However, the project was quickly beset by unforeseen difficulties. The geological conditions proved more challenging than anticipated, with excessive groundwater leakage and unexpectedly soft rock, which led to the destruction of the first drill used in the construction efforts. These initial setbacks transformed into financial woes, resulting in a bankruptcy and exit of the original contractor. After a lengthy pause of eight years, the project was restarted with the introduction of new drilling technologies and improved operational practices. Even with these advancements, the project encountered persistent delays, especially in sections where the bedrock quality was poor. Finally, in 2015, 23 years after the initial groundbreaking, the Hallensas Tunnel was declared complete. What was originally estimated to cost around 1 billion Swedish kroner ballooned to approximately 10.5 billion kroner, or 968 million US dollars, more than tenfold the planned budget. Number 4. Eastern Span Replacement of the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge Every year, more than 27 million vehicles cross the 3.5-kilometer stretch between Yerba Buena Island and Oakland, making it a vital link in the San Francisco Bay Area. The need for a safer bridge became clear after the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake, a 6.9-magnitude quake that caused significant damage to the bridge. This event led city officials to re-evaluate the safety of the existing structure. Originally, fixing and upgrading the old bridge was considered, but it was quickly found to be too expensive. This led to the bold decision to completely replace the eastern span. After 10 years of discussions and planning, a design competition ended with the choice of a self-anchored bridge, selected mostly for how it looks. However, building this new design turned out to be full of difficulties that highlighted the technical and financial risks of such big projects. The construction, which took 11 years, faced many problems. Stability rods that were crucial to the bridge's design broke often, causing costly repairs and replacements. Choosing guardrails instead of barriers led to issues with rust, and parts of the bridge deck not lining up increased the risk of the bridge failing during an earthquake. Poor welding led to thorough inspections, which further increased costs and caused delays. By 2019, this project became the most expensive infrastructure project in California's history, with costs exceeding $7 billion, almost seven times the initial budget of just over $1 billion. Number 3. The Harmon Hotel Disaster In the heart of the lively Las Vegas Strip, City Center was envisioned in November 2004, featuring many residential condos, a retail mall, and various amenities. A key part of this plan was the Harmon Hotel, a 449-foot-tall building designed to be a standout feature on the skyline, with its rooftop pool offering sweeping views of the Strip. They began in 2007 with a budget of $275 million and was set to be a symbol of luxury. However, issues started to appear in 2008 during routine checks. Inspectors found major problems with the building's structure mainly that the steel reinforcements critical for the building's stability were not installed correctly. This issue stopped the construction at the 28th floor, much lower than the planned 49 floors, 
and led to the removal of the condo part of the project. This meant giving money back to potential condo buyers and further hurt the project's future. The construction delays piled up and the Harman's future looked bleak, eventually leading to the stop of its construction. MGM, the owners, decided to use the unfinished building for ads by covering it in reflective glass, a temporary fix that didn't address the serious underlying issues. By 2011, it was clear that the Harman was a safety risk. It couldn't withstand an earthquake and might collapse because of its structural problems. With no good way to fix these issues, MGM began to take down the Harman in June 2014, a task that continued into 2015. Because it was close to other buildings, they took it apart floor by floor instead of using explosives, which cost about $170 million. Altogether, the Harman Hotel turned into a huge financial loss for MGM, totaling more than $450 million. Number 2. The Songsu Bridge, South Korea The Songsu Bridge was a key bridge over the Han River that linked the Songdong and Gangnam districts of Seoul, South Korea. It was a symbol of the country's fast urban growth when it was built in 1977. Yet its collapse on October 21, 1994 became one of the darkest days in Seoul's history. That tragic morning, a section of the bridge fell more than 50 meters into the river dragging a car, a van and a bus with it, while other vehicles also fell from the edge. This terrible event took the lives of 32 people, including 29 bus passengers, leaving a deep mark on the community. A quick investigation started to find out why the bridge collapsed. It turned out that although the bridge was designed to handle vehicles up to 36 tonnes, it often carried heavier loads sometimes over 47 tons because of the growing number of cars and trucks driven by the city's expansion. The investigation found serious problems. Bad welding on the steel parts that held up the bridge was a major reason it failed. The supports of the bridge were also rusting and the whole structure was getting weaker, problems made worse by not enough maintenance despite many warnings. The consequences were severe. Seven city officials were arrested for not keeping the bridge safe and the city's mayor had to resign. This was Seoul's worst bridge failure. But it was part of a bigger problem in South Korea where similar bridge collapses had happened before. After much public concern and a need for big changes, the government started a special program to check bridges all over the country. At first, they thought about fixing the Songsu Bridge, but soon saw that the damage was too bad to repair. They decided to tear down the old bridge and build a new one, finishing it three years later. The new bridge looked a lot like the old one, but was built to be much safer. Number 1. The Line, Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia's The Line project started as a bold part of the Vision 2030 initiative. It wanted to revolutionize urban life by building a 170 kilometer long, 500 meter tall city across the desert with an enormous budget of half a trillion dollars. This futuristic city was designed to house 9 million people, but the reality has trimmed these grand plans significantly. Now the line is expected to stretch just 2.4 kilometers and aims to accommodate fewer than 300,000 residents by 2030. This major cutback has led to many job losses and raised doubts about the project's future. Building the line involved creating two extremely long skyscrapers, each as tall as New York's One World Trade Center, but laid out horizontally across the challenging desert terrain for 2.4 kilometers. So far, real progress has been limited to a few areas like the Hidden Marina, which is a small part of the originally envisioned project. The line has been hit hard by fluctuating oil prices, reducing the country's ability to finance such an ambitious project. The kingdom's reduced cash reserves have shaken the financial foundation needed for the project and forced them to call Chinese billionaires for help. That's all we have for you today. Are there any construction failures more expensive than the ones we have listed? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds for more exciting mega project videos. See you in the next one.